So Dom, I'll hand it over to you because we've got some exciting updates um, that are incredible that not only preserve tokens, but make make the entire bold experience crazy, crazy fast. So um, go okay. ahead and take it away. All right, thanks. <laughs> I don't have such a such a cool storyline uh, as, as as Sam had. Like that, I think that was pretty funny with Facebook. What? Uh, <laughs> no, it was cool. I don't have such such cool story. But okay, so um, yeah, so we've been we've been sinking our teeth really really deep into kind of like how can we optimize, you know, the the general performance of Bolt and while at the same time reducing like token token usage significantly and. That's um, yeah, that's what we've been looking into, and I think I'm I'm pretty excited to kind of share with all of you that we're we, we've done we've made some breakthroughs in how we handle like code generation and modifications, and I think it's actually like like speaking like personally, I I, I there's more depth to to this than I have ever anticipated. Like there's so many edge cases, and it requires so much like research, which is why this this has taken so long or we've actually done our homework of like trying to figure out a really reliable way of getting the model to like, you know, generate, um, like give us smaller outputs while making everything faster. So essentially what we've been um, like investigating is like, how can we get the model to, so I'll give you some background. These models and LLMs are particularly good at generating files from top to bottom. Like that's what they've been trained on. And that makes up essentially the, the majority of the training data is like, you know, files, like full files, which is why it's like really good at generating like, you know, files from top to bottom. However, that's for the, for the end user, that's pretty bad, right? In, in multiple ways. The output tokens, like it produces a ton of output tokens. Output tokens are very expensive. And also it means that the overall experience is well, pretty slow because if, if you're asking the model to make like a small change, then essentially what will happen is it will generate the whole file from, you know, from scratch for maybe just a one line change. And so that's essentially what, what we've like researched and how can we make that better? What approaches do we have? And so I'm going to share my screen and show you what we've been working on. Uh, present, share screen. And just to add some depth to like the complexity of this, I mean, uh, so Dom has background actually in machine learning uh, prior uh, to to coming to Stackblitz uh, four or five years ago, and, and Dom's actually been working with uh, folks over on the Anthropic side on what you're about to see here because this is you know they uh, the, the, the one of the folks on their side just said like you know our 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 agent stuff is some of the most sophisticated complex stuff that they have seen um, in in production on their models. So this is this is kind of pushing. This is kind of pushing like literally the limits of like what you can do with the frontier models right now. Um, so just want to add a little bit of context. Like this is this is a this is a I would say this is a pretty big deal. Um, like you know because there's there's really not uh, a heck that the folks making these models didn't have a prior art <laughs> to to kind of point us out. So um, go ahead, Dom. Yeah, and 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 I will say like generating diffs. So essentially, like like I said, right? We can generate files from top to bottom. But what we we've implemented, and I'm going to show that, is a diff based approach. So instead of like you know regenerating full files, the model can actually make like really precise changes to single files and just like change a few lines. And that at least in in the findings that and from all the testing we've done so far, can easily reduce in certain cases token usage by up to ninety percent, which is huge. Like it is a huge difference, and also speed like you know speed and performance improvements can easily be up to like we're talking like the impact is huge we're talking make well, you're gonna see in a second but like we're talking 30 seconds versus two seconds or three seconds like the difference is really really massive in certain cases you know it's hard to like generalize that it really always depends but anyways like i'm gonna stop talking and i'm just gonna sh show it to you um so yeah on the right we have uh uh, Bolt.new, which is the production site. I actually switched to the dark theme so we can better tell tell them apart. On the left is the preview, uh, which contains like the diff based approach. It is not novel, but like it actually took a lot of research in getting this reliable. Like it's not that easy. Um, and so on the left, we have the preview, like I said, 
And let's actually do the same thing on both sides. So I'm just going to add, oh, well, let's not go like too crazy. Maybe we'll say like, build me a snake game. So I mean, it's going to take a while. Build me a snake game. Hopefully, this is going to work like fine here. OK, so what we can see is for like creating new files, you know, it just it will create generate the files from top to bottom. Um, but we will see the magic when we actually ask for changes. So like generally speaking, at the beginning, you will see mostly like it actually depends on like the the files that are already that already exist, like what you know what you're asking and how many changes it has to make or how many new files it will create. So um, yeah, so it's actually a little slower here, a little bit of latency. Maybe a lot of people are using Volt. Okay, so we have our snake game here. Hopefully, it spins up in a second. So just just for for clarity, so uh, the left is the is the magic the magical new goodness, and the right is what's currently available on uh, Bolt.io production. Correct. Uh, yes, right is right is production. Left is preview. So the dark version is production. Okay, so I can actually start the game. Seems to work fine. Okay, so let's go ahead. Okay, that actually looks really really nice. Okay, both versions. Let's just make sure that both of them work. Looks good. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make a, well, seemingly small change, right? So I'm just going to say, make the start make with the, the right apple. side. Start with yeah, the oh, right sorry. side. Please. Make the <laughs> probably app. I would say it's in the game, which is pretty. Like it has 204 lines of code, and like the potentially the color of the apple is somewhere in here. I would imagine. Probably. Anyways, I'm just gonna ask like uh make the food uh whatever blue. So let's see what it's what it's gonna what it's gonna do. Yeah, so it updates the whole game, right? Like it like I said, that's what most LLMs are trained uh trained on. <clears throat> They're really good at doing this. Uh so it generates this whole thing. So this easily I mean I, I don't have a timer, but this Easily takes up to like up to twenty seconds, I would say. Um, so we oh, see. Wait, you want to kick off the next one? Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, the, I mean, for, for I'm like just watching it. Like I was yeah. entertained actually for a second. Make pull the pull, pull the Porsche behind the Cybertruck. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, game board. So we're just gonna go here. So okay, it's blue. Perfect. Um, let's see. Did you see that? It just made that line of change. Boom, it's blue. Did you see the difference? I mean, that is that That's is massive. Insane. Like is on the surface, I'll, I'll ju I just want to say that again. On the surface, this seems simple. But like, I just want to emphasize that we're working with a system which is very far from de like deterministic. Like we're, you know, like giving it instructions is not always guaranteed that it will follow instructions. So which is why this, you know, it, it takes a lot of work to actually get this, get this to work reliably. Uh, so I can just go ahead and like ask for more changes, just like, I don't know, like, uh, make, change the color like, again. I mean, just like, and, and post them like, you know, copy paste it like the same time. I, I'm, I'm curious actually to see this, uh, cause I, some walls, I haven't, every... I haven't been able to test this like side by side yet myself. So I'm actually like, just, you know, it's going to say add some, add some walls, uh, every five seconds. Let's just, okay. So. Here we go. We we see it side by side, more or less. It's changing like these lines. Also, this is only kind of like the 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 baseline of the diff based approach, right? So you can see it's not like the the UX is not yet like fully polished. Like we're gonna ship as follow ups, you know, like a whole bunch of improvements where you can actually see the diff. You know, maybe we we're gonna introduce like oh like look at this. It's already finished while this is still generating all the code. Um. So if I click on this, hopefully after five seconds, it should actually add a wall. Hopefully it, it doesn't add a wall. OK. OK, it, it didn't add a wall. But yeah, you can see this is still generating. OK, even even though this didn't work, I'm not sure why it didn't add walls. Uh, but yeah, the case I mean, in point is, I mean, sometimes it doesn't, right? And like what, what sucks is that sometimes, oh. you know, you have to be more specific and 
you know, and, and uh, if, you, if you burn a ton of tokens on something that uh, where the AI screwed up, that sucks, right? Um, and so that just, you know, that just eliminated a ton of you know tokens that uh, would have been normally spent on something that, that that didn't work and maybe needed further instruction or something. Yeah, right? correct. Like just imagine, right? For every change you're like you're asking for, it would regenerate like hundreds of lines of code. Whereas now, like you know, it's a small change actually. Um, <clears throat> interesting that the right side added vaults and this is just failing to add vaults. But I don't think it has anything to do with like the diff based approach. I think it's just like would probably take a couple of iterations on the left hand side to you know keep prompting and saying like oh I still don't see walls but yeah anyways I think this this kind of demonstrates the power of the new diff based approach um, which we're very very excited about not only again like this matters because it significantly reduces token usage um, you know and it just makes it more precise like less chances of unintended changes in like unrelated parts of the code that that as well right because it makes like almost like a doctor which makes like super precise like you know operations on very specific parts of your body yeah that's kind of and, how i'll look at it at the diff based approach well i think the other thing too is i mean it closes the feedback loop even further right because like you know when you're when you're sitting there and you're like prompting the lm it, it you know i have said this a lot of times you know uh, over the years at stackman's and also kind of as we launch bolt like our, our mission has always been like, how do you get an idea into your fingertips, into the keyboard and get response as fast as possible? And that is the, like this, this, this is a hundred percent going to allow you to get more messages per dollar. Right. But is all, it is going to get you more hits at bat per minute. Like you're going to be able to, to go and actually do more iterations faster in the same amount of time um, for less tokens. And that's huge. Um, and, and so, you know, however fast you've been building with bolt now, it's, it's going to get a lot faster. Um, so anyway, so I, I think there's, there's really, you know, to me, they're, they're, they're just as important here, right. Um, you know, the, the token reduction aspects and the, and the speed aspects of this thing. Right. Um, so we've got, um, a preview URL, um, that, uh, uh, you know, we'd love for you all to go and test out. This is very fresh. Um, Maybe uh, uh, if y'all can make a snake game and see if you can get some walls to to not show up or make them show up on the preview branch, that might be helpful. <laughs> um, but um, but you know we we uh, you know this is a big change and we are we're stoked to get it out. We also don't want to roll this out into production. Um, we we've got our own internal testing um, et cetera that we do. Um, but this is this is a big one. We want to we want to get people you know like folks that are. Uh, want to be on the cutting edge and want to give this stuff a shot and give us give their feedback. Um, we want to get this in your hands. And um, and again, this this is uh, it's not like some other version of Bolt. This is tied into your production Bolt account, the preview URLs you're using. So if you have projects that you're you know developing in on Bolt.new, when you use the preview URL, you can actually edit those. And when when they are being edited and saved, you can open up them back up on on the Bolt.new production site. Um, so it's not like you have to kind of spin up something brand new again, you, you know, I, I would, uh, just out of an abundance of caution for these preview URLs, I would fork the projects. Um, if for anything that's like important or whatever, I would fork them, um, and make changes in a fork just to make sure you're not losing data or something like that shouldn't happen. Um, but you know, this is, this is alpha stuff that we're, that we're kind of hammering out. Um, and we'd like to land this stuff, uh, you know, either this week or early next, um, you know, assuming, uh, we, we don't find any regressions, et cetera. So we'd love your help. Um, and so maybe we can post the, uh, the, the, uh, link in the chat here. Um, so folks can access it. We see some people asking for it, but actually what I also like, what I want to throw in is like, probably everyone is kind of like, um, familiar with these, you know, the laziness of models. Like that's also one thing that actually. The, the new diff based approach helps a lot with like laziness in terms of the model at some point gets lazy and adds these comments like, Oh, your, your other code here, or like previous code here, like with these comments, generally speaking from the testing we've done, we see significant improvements in the model being less lazy with the diff based approach. I just wanted to throw that in because like, I know it's been like mentioned it's a huge many, one. many, yeah. many times on GitHub is like, oh, it always adds these comments. I think the diff based approach should be, should help and it should just make it 
like a lot more precise. Yeah, hundred percent, 